Oh, Mass Effect. Remember how great that game was? The sprawling sci-fi universe, the mix of action and tactical combat, the endless exotic alien worlds and species to explore and blow up. Remember imagining how much greater it would have been if all that stuff had actually come together seamlessly and not been hampered by a lousy frame rate, awkward shooting controls, and just a mountain of unwieldy RPG mechanics. If you say so, what's our next step? Stop imagining. Mass Effect 2 addresses every one of those unfortunate issues from the first game. BioWare has ripped out basically everything that cluttered up the gameplay last time around and has just assembled a better looking, better playing, and more seamless blend of action and role-playing that really keeps its momentum for every second of the dozens of hours you could spend on a single playthrough. You're working too hard. Things have gotten real bad for Commander Shepard. If you've made it this far without knowing exactly what the predicament he or she is in, let's just say it's grim. You're not working for those bureaucratic Citadel Namby Pambies anymore. You're now in the employ of some much shadier people who operate above the law on the fringes of the galaxy. And while their ultimate goals may be noble, you might not agree with some of their methods. Touch me and I will smear the world with you, bitch! Or maybe you do. You can still play your version of Commander Shepard as a good guy or a bad guy or girl. But the best way to play Mass Effect 2 is by importing your character in from the previous game. I know the whole save game import business sounds kind of gimmicky, but it honestly really enhances the experience when you get to see how all those decisions you made the last time around have come back and affected this game's universe. And if you didn't play Mass Effect, just go get it. It's 20 bucks. The sequel is a much better game, but the direct story continuity from 1 to 2 is key to the quality of your experience. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. Okay? As a direct continuation of the first Mass Effect storyline, you're still going to see plenty of familiar, lovable faces, but it's really the new members of your crew that make this game's storyline so memorable. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. You're going to spend most of the game putting together a crack team of experts to tackle the new threats facing humanity, and there's a huge range of endearing personalities represented in your crew. The game does a fantastic job of fleshing out each character's backstory with a side quest that ties into their own histories. These missions really add a lot of narrative texture to the Mass Effect universe at large, and they also really humanize the members of your crew, which is all the more impressive since most of them are aren't even human. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Of course, at some point in this mission, you gotta stop talking and start shooting, and that's without a doubt where Mass Effect 2 is the most improved. All those little elements that make up an action game, the movement controls, the aiming, just the feel of hitting enemies with your assault rifle or some crazy biotic force push, all that stuff has been tuned to feel as responsive and satisfying as really any other third-person shooter on the market. Of course, you're still free to pause the action and take as much time as you need telling Shepard and your squad mates which attacks to use on whom. But you're now able to control so many of your character's movements and abilities directly with controller buttons that you might never want to pause the action again. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda. Hand in hand with the improved shooting, Bioware has really stripped down and streamlined the RPG mechanics in Mass Effect 2, and that's all for the better. There's no more awkward management of endless rifles and suits of armor to get in the way of the action. Instead, there's a much smaller and more focused set of weapons and armor here that lets you mix and match qualitative effects to produce exactly the Shepard you want to play. Instead of heaping on mountains of gear, the game lets you research upgrades for the stuff you do have in a lab on your ship. Each character's skill tree has also been reduced in size and really focused down on the powers that actually matter. The game simply takes a cleaner and more expedient approach to character progression that feels a lot more appropriate for a hybrid action game like this. Okay, you Mass Effect vets remember how generic and repetitive those side missions were, right? Go to hell. Good news, all that stuff is gone. No more prefab planetary bases taken out of space Ikea, repeated ad nauseum across endless same looking planets. No more Mako. Yes, that piece of junk has been replaced by a shuttle that takes you straight down into the action. Mass Effect 2 still has plenty of side missions, but this time they're all actually set in distinctive settings with unique little storylines of their own. Vince, calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. There are dozens of planets you can explore to look for missions on, and hey, if there's nothing interesting to do down there, you can't land there. But you can mine for resources that go straight into further upgrading your equipment and abilities. All of these systems and side activities feel a lot more seamlessly integrated than they did in the first game. You talk too much. 
Just like its predecessor, Mass Effect 2 is a beautiful production. It's got wonderful art design and filmic effects that really evoke the sci-fi classics of the 70s and 80s. The good news is, this time it all looks and moves a lot more smoothly than before. Bioware managed to really smooth out the frame rate and eliminate that awful texture popping that really marred the great sense of style they established before. Seriously, these are the snazziest lens flares you have ever seen in a game. And I really, really want to live in the gleaming innards of the revamped Normandy. What a cool looking game. Mass Effect 2 is just fantastic from top to bottom. It's full of great characters, exciting moments, engaging and diverse tactical action, and a sprawling sci-fi universe that would take you a damn long time to thoroughly explore. Whether you want to play it as a sinner or a saint, a soldier or a biotic powerhouse, a dude or a lady, you're guaranteed an indelible experience that you'll probably still be thinking about by the time Mass Effect 3 rolls around. Shepard. That's all for now. Shepard. Shepard. That's all for now. Shepard. Shepard. That's all for now. Shepard.